Hi, my name is Ajay and this is Aaron. And for today's video, we will be talking about time-based billing and the issue that the pressures of meeting targets may subject clients to unethical practices by lawyers. The Australian Solicitors Conduct Rule 2015, or ASCR, have been developed with larger firms in mind, as these are the types of organisations that are likely to experience budget demands. These budget demands create a potential conflict between the interests of the client and the interests of the solicitor representing them. The result may be a breach of fiduciary duty owed by the solicitor to the client. ASCR 12.1 requires that a solicitor must not act for a client where there is a conflict between the duty to serve in the best interest of the client and the interest of the solicitor. This rule appears black and white, however this may not always be the case. Lawyers are commonly faced with the requirement to meet performance indicators, and those who don't may work within an environment where unethical behaviour is a widespread norm such as the belief that everybody else is behaving the same way. This means the clients are constantly at risk of billing fraud or being billed in excess of what they should be. ASCR 12.2 further broaches this issue, stating that a solicitor must not exercise any undue influence intended to dispose the client to benefit the solicitor in excess of the solicitor's fair remuneration for legal services provided to the client. Let's take a look at some case studies. This rule was explored in 2004 in the case of Roach, in which a legal practitioner negotiated substantial fee increases with an existing client. The client was in financial difficulties and did not understand how these charges were being incurred. However, he was anxious for the practitioner to take on another case on his behalf. As a result, the practitioner was found guilty of professional misconduct. In a more recent case, an injured worker took the law firm Slater & Gordon to the Supreme Court for legal costs totalling over $50,000. When they were challenged on the legal bills, the law firm reverted back to a cost of $27,433. However, they stated that this was a discount and that its billing practice was standard and not unusual. Former Slater & Gordon employees later came forward to speak about unrelenting budget pressure. Effectively, the conflict between the interest of a lawyer and their client with regards to billable hours is ever-present. As such, it is impractical for every lawyer to excuse themselves from a case simply because of this. Instead, a better approach may be to look at the manner in which lawyers approach the conflict and whether they acknowledge its presence at all. This requires lawyers to be able to identify their needs and the conflict that this creates with the needs of their clients. In this case, the budget requirements of their firm and the financial needs of their clients. It is unlikely that they would be able to remove themselves completely of such a conflict. However, as was suggested in Roach, a lawyer may be able to avoid breaching their fiduciary duty by fully explaining the conflict to the client and keeping them fully informed to ensure that the needs of both the client and the lawyer are met. Alright, cut that then. No, no, you gotta cut.